News 46 is brought to you in part by... Every day I see good people who have made mistakes. A run-in with the law doesn't mean that your world will fall apart. I'm attorney Justin Stovall, and at Stovall & Associates, we believe that everyone deserves honest and competent legal help in times of crisis. With offices in Las Vegas and Pahrump, high-quality legal help is always close to home. Know your rights and call today for your free legal consultation. Stovall & Associates, good lawyers for good people. We are here at the Ian Deutsch Government Complex, and I'm joined by Brian Schoening. Brian, you're an artist. Tell me a little bit about, uh, they had an open call here with the Prump Arts Council, and I know that we have a gallery inside this courthouse right behind us. Uh, yeah, they had an open call in October uh, for artists, and it was a holiday-themed uh, show that they were going to be, they're putting on. And um, I do Halloween-themed artwork uh, th through Coffin It Up. What is Coffin It Up? Uh, Coffin It Up is a custom-made coffin uh, business. It's an online business, and uh, you know, coffins of all shapes and sizes, and artwork that's also themed to that. Also, um, and I had three pieces, uh, which have been all over the West Coast, mm -hmm. several galleries on the West Coast, and so I thought, you know, have a little home showing that would be great. So I answered the call and came up. And you're here from Pahrump, yeah, and tell me about some of the artwork that we're seeing right now on the screen. Um, it's very unique. Um, I've got three pieces. One piece is a metal cut uh, that's plain, uh, attached to a burnt coffin. Uh, the second is a uh, there's a handsaw with a carved handle. Uh, it has a hearse and it's all hand painted, very folk art. Um, and then the third, which is the missing piece, is the uh, the round saw blade with the vampire skull on it, uh, coffin shaped eyes. So speaking of the missing piece, you actually had a piece of art stolen right here at the Nye County Courthouse. That's that's really shocking because we're right attached to the sheriff's station and there's cameras all over. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you could imagine my surprise when I had some friends come down to see the exhibit and uh, they called me from here and said, I thought you said there were three pieces and I was like yeah there's three pieces all hung together and they're like well there's two pieces and an empty nail mm -hmm. and that's when I came down and saw that yes there was a piece missing and so I called Lori at the pack mm -hmm. and uh, asked her if she might know where it is and she's talked to everybody in the courthouse and all of the members and no one has any idea where it might be uh, and so yesterday I went and filed a police report for missing pro or for stolen property. Yeah. So, And you would think out of all the um, different galleries that we have around town, this would be the most safe. Um, I know that there's a metal detector in here. It is made of metal, but they only check you on the way in, don't they? Uh, yeah. And um, funny, when I, <laughs> when I brought the pieces in, they didn't have the metal detector going in either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I... But there's cameras all over the place, so I'm hoping maybe uh, the officer Trumbull will be able to find, you know, about when it went gone mm -hmm. and then be able to figure out who did it. So they said that they're actually going to review the videotape here and see if they can find the actual perpetrator who, who stole it in, in process. Yeah, yeah, that's, they, they said they were going to be looking into it, uh, and I'm hoping that's what looking into it means because that's about all there is to do, I think. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that we've ever had a piece of art stolen here off the walls, as far as I know. Um, actually, what l I think it was Lori who told me, or maybe her secretary in there, uh, said that 10 years ago there was a piece that was stolen, yeah. too. So um, it hasn't happened very often, and yeah. I think since the renovations, nothing has ever happened. So, so if people know anything about this um, theft, they can contact uh, Deputy Heather Trummel at the Nye County Sheriff's Office? Yes. Yes, she's the one handling this. Or uh, if you can't get a hold of her, perhaps the Prompt Arts Council. Um, what, what, did you, what are you going to do in the future as far as uh, artwork? Are you going to um, still continue to hang your artwork? Or what do you... What's your views on that? Um, I'm going to try to continue to hang my artwork when there's appropriate times for me to do so. Uh -huh. I try not to step on everyone's toes when it's not specific for what I do. Do you sell artwork? <laughs> oh yes, yes. I, I sell a multitude of things through Coffin It Up. Everything's handmade. And, and commissioned? And commissioned. I'm, Can people go to your website to look at what you got? Yep. Uh, it's coffinitup.com mm -hmm. um, and 
Uh, and then you can commission spend some time because <laughs> it's a pretty extensive website. <laughs> well, thank you so much for speaking with us, and so sorry to hear about your artwork being stolen. Hopefully, um, they'll be able to recover it for you. I hope so too. Thank a you. speedy return home. <laughs> thank you.